Hi everyone, this is Camille. Today, I'm gonna share with you how to do a text reflection effect that looks like this. It's a great way to add a cinematic touch to our video. If you're into this, keep watching. After we open Video Proc Flagger and start a new project, click here to create a new text clip. Enter the text we like. For demonstration, I type these words. Next, we can adjust the font and size. We can choose any font we like. However, for a better result, I recommend you to use a thin and a sans serif font. Let's select white as a text color. Don't forget to decrease the offset volume for removing the shadow. Then we boost the character space. Let it be around 45. Then we click on the blue circle over here. Drag them towards the sides to adjust the shown range of the text. We want a wider range, so we can place all letters in one row. Then we reposition the text, so that the text is centered. We can also use the guides to center the text easily and accurately. Take a close look. We can notice that there is a little blur on the edge of the text. We can fix this by adjusting the border size. Let it be around 4 would be okay. Now the text looks smooth. After that, let's hit a snapshot. Import the snapshot image to Video Proc Flagger. And then we hide the text. Let's add the snapshot image onto the overlay track. Go to the inspector panel and choose Fit to the screen height. Then hit the crop. Let's keep only the text by chopping off the redundant parts. This will be nice. Then we can start to do the animation effect. Increase the duration of the text clip. Then let's hit motion. Add a keyframe at the very beginning. Adjust the selection box to make it cover the original frame. Let's take the button edge of the selection box close to the button edge of the text. Then we add a second keyframe at around the fourth frame. Now we get back to the position of the first keyframe. Move the selection box upward until it just doesn't cover any text. Let's take a preview. Hmm, it's like the text is slowly moving up. Let's select the second keyframe. Choose speed down as the speed mode. Then we go to the end position to add the third keyframe. Hit Apply. Then we go to the Inspector panel to find a blend mode and choose Lighten. We just animate the text. Let's click on here to add a new overlay track. Press the shortcuts Ctrl and C to copy the text we just made and press Ctrl and V to paste it onto the overlay track below. Then we go to the Inspector panel to choose Vertical Flip. Next, let's open the rollers in the Guides feature. Adjust the position of the text clip and the reflection clip to make them look like this.
Let's select the reflection clip and bring down the transparency a little bit. Then let's go to image blurring. Let's make it look a little bit blurry. Now take a look. Hmm, great work. After adding the music and video, we can get this. We can also add a fade out effect for the shadow clip to increase the sense of change. We can add any other elements and effects we like to make the outcome look more stylish. That's all for today's tutorial. Don't forget to practice on your own. If you want to know more editing tricks or what has been going on with Video Prog Flagger, be sure to click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. See you in our next editing tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!